What has been your most successful film to date by box office standards? Straight out of Compton. Okay. That I EP'd. Right. And uh, I think Girls Trip that I produced. Girls Trip is, yeah. I mean. Yeah, yeah. Girls Trip we did. And so like, that wasn't a number one because I didn't see that on the it list. Wasn't. It Are wasn't. you serious? Yeah, man. We dropped in the summer. Uh, and we dropped against a uh, a war movie called Dunkirk. You remember that joint? I remember it. I think that's the one that Angelina Nolan. Jolie directed, right? No, no, no. Christopher Nolan directed it. Okay. It was, um, it was, you know, big war movie. And those war movies, like there's one out right now called 1917 that's doing yeah. big numbers. Those movies do big. We yeah. knew that we were going to be up against something big, but we felt like we would be counter-programming is what they call it, when it's like everybody going to see one thing, but there's a big audience that that movie doesn't speak to. Right. Uh, but yeah, they don't all open at number one, dog. Uh, now, speaking of Girl Trip, what, what do you look for when you select in the cast? Because that was a... Although, you know, they're all you know, powerful black women yeah. in that cast. Yeah. They're very diverse. It's a For very sure. diverse culmination. Yeah. Uh, and what makes you, like, select the cast? Bro, an ensemble cast. cast is the hardest thing to put together, dog. Honestly. And you do it very well. You did it with Takers. You did it with Think Like a Man. Yeah. You did it with Girls Trip. It's tough. It's so, not easy. Because you can, we can name a bunch of movies where the ensemble didn't work. Mm. And it ain't even about, like, having a bunch of stars. It's about chemistry. Man, it's about chemistry. That's it, dog. So, really, you know, um... We went to Regina first. Okay. That's my dog. I know her. Like, that's my go-to. She's amazing. Right. Um, and then we went to uh, Jada and Latifah at the same time. They hadn't worked together since Set It Off. And we felt like, okay, this pairing could be lit. Right. Them plus Regina, we knew we had, all right, we got three all-stars. Right. Then, for that fourth role, the studio wanted somebody that was on the same level as the rest of the cast. Mm. They wanted a name. Right. And uh, and we look for a name. And we offered it to some names. Some mm. people turned down that Tiffany Haddish role. What? Oh, yeah. And it was uh, Tell Tiffany. Us Tell us who. Well, you know, I Tell can't. Who turned, I, it I, I, listen, who turned it up? I got good relationship Who's the fool? in this business. Who's the fool? They know. And I've seen them since and said, hey, why, when are you going to put me in something? You know, and that's, that's the business. You know what I'm saying? So then Tiffany came in and auditioned multiple times. And she jumped off the page. Like, everybody else was... Man, Tiffany is lightning in a bottle. Everybody else was playing the role as it was written. She was embodying the character and making the words better than right. they were written. Man, and, and you... So so you now have, okay, a film that is that is coming out. Yeah. Tell us about My it. My new one, The Photograph. The Photograph. A black love story, Tip. Issa Rae. Okay. Yeah, my second movie with her, super talented sister. Right on. Um, Lakeith Stanfield. Man, he's super dope. Yo. I mean, has enormous range. I enormous mean, I, range. I, I saw True him, artist. I saw him at the Bad Boys 3 uh, premiere, and, and I just had to tell him, man, like, he, he got, I think the sky's the limit for bro, and he yeah. could do anything. People gonna be, remember that name, Lakeith Stanfield. Yeah, he, he could do anything. You've seen him, um, but you hadn't seen him in this light. He's a true leading man in this movie. Right on. He pops off. He really does. And so what's the premise of the movie? It's a love story, man. It's about, um, it actually is what we call a parallel narrative. So it tells the story of Issa and uh -huh. her mom. Uh -huh. And her mom is dead at the beginning of the movie. Mm. But is sending a letter back to her daughter about her life, her love, the mistakes that she's made. Mm. And we watch Issa and her mom go through their love lives at different times, gotcha. but in similar ways. And Issa's trying to learn from the mistakes of her mom as she starts to date Lakeith Stanfield. Mm. I'll be honest with you, Tip, it's a beautiful movie, dog. Amazing. Stella McGee directed it. She wrote and directed the movie, and it's uh, you know, it's a love story. So if you ain't got your Valentine's uh, plans, right on. I got you. Man, You're you, welcome. Absolutely. When, is your, when, when, when does it premiere? Uh, uh, Valentine's Day, February 14th. Comes out February 14th. February 14th. It's going to be yep. a big week for When you. we dropping this? Is this right be now? A big week. Man, whenever you want to, man. Whenever <laughs> you want to. We, we can do it on the, what you want, the 12th, 12th, yeah, 13th, I, what I, you want to do Any it, of that. Yeah, man, yes. man. Come on, man. We got you, bro. We got you. <laughs> That's what we do here. My God. Yeah, so now next time when you come back, yes. you, you, so just know okay. that whoever... Issa's mom was dating on this parallel <laughs> narrative could have been tipped. Just want you to know that. Take that with you. Okay. Noted. 